Kuno earned his medal in Afghanistan last summer. The Belgian Malinois and his handler were first off the helicopter for the raid of a suspected Al-Qaeda compound. Kuno's main job is to sniff out explosives and take down enemies. When the soldiers became pinned down by gunfire, Kuno charged through the hail of bullets and brought the gunman to the ground despite being shot in that charge. It turned the fight in the troops' favour and earned Kuno the Dickin Medal awarded by the PDSA. Without him, there is no doubt that, that lives would, would have been seriously put at danger, if not lost. Kuno would not give up his role um, and, and relinquish his duty until the job was done. No matter how much pain or suffering he was in, he was part of a team and he had a job to do. Having saved the lives of the soldiers, it was their turn to do the same for their injured canine colleague. We were still in the kind of the, the immediate threat at that point, so I just grabbed him by his harness and dragged him out of the compound. He's a teammate at the end of the day. He's as much of the team as any other member. Um, and so he, he, he gets the exact same treatment as any other guy would if they got injured. Swift battlefield treatment and medical evacuation saved Kuno's life, but they couldn't save one of his paws. And so army vets helped create him a custom prosthetic for one leg and a brace for the other. Lucky thing for Kuno with the prosthetic foot is that he's still got his own working ankle joint. The amputation was below the ankle, so he, he, he flexes and, and extends his foot naturally, just like any, any normal dog. Kuno's adapted very, very quickly, very successfully. Uh, even before we fitted the prosthetic, he was really keen to get up and about. He was walking on his stumps quite, quite capably. Kuno loved it, took it all in his stride. He's, he's a really relaxed dog. Um, he's, he, he just enjoys being around people, so um, he, he was an absolute dream patient. I had the absolute pleasure of, of meeting Kuno a few weeks ago now and to see him um, and his joy for life, um, his joy for his, his tennis ball and his Kong um, are, are just absolutely remarkable. Well deserving of the Dickin medal, but also well deserving of a, of a long and happy retirement. At the age of four, Kuno is both retired and the recipient of the nation's highest gallantry honour for an animal. He is sharing that retirement with a former military dog handler. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.